Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Wadge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're doing the comparison that you guys actually requested between the Logitech G29 Driving Force Racing Wheel and the Thrustmaster T300 RS. Both of these are actually compatible with the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, as well as the PC. They both come at the same exact price point and both have a lot of overlapping features. So therefore, if you're in the market for a new steering wheel for your PlayStation 4 or PC, and you're kind of debating upon which one to get, this is a perfect video for you so without any further ado let's get right into this comparison now side by side you can see that both of these steering wheels are kind of optimized and designed for the new playstation 4 platform you have the playstation button as well as the dedicated share and options button and really both of them have the same amount of buttons that you would find on a standard playstation 4 controller so they're fully compatible with the playstation 4 platform so you have no problems in terms of navigating through the menu and getting all your game settings right as well now, physically speaking, the stock rim that comes with the T300RS, which is actually detachable, unlike the G29, is actually uh, a little bit larger, measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 27 centimeters on the G29, which I personally like. I like a little bit of a larger steering wheel. I just think in terms of build quality, I think both of them are pretty good, but I do think that the T300RS is a little bit better built in terms of giving you a little bit more metal in terms of its construction, and it definitely has a little bit bit more heft towards it versus even though the g29 does have a nice aluminum uh, brush finish it still feels a little bit plasticky at times and certainly doesn't have that same amount of heft that i feel with the t300 however one thing i do prefer on the g29 is the finish on the steering rim itself it has a nice kind of hand stitch uh, feel and it gives you a little bit more grip than the kind of rubbery texture we have on the t300 rs now both of these wheels come with paddle shifters and the G29's shifters are fairly nice but I still think that the T300 RS feels a little bit more premium and a little bit more realistic uh, when it comes to shifting and it gives you just a little bit more of a tactile sensation than what I feel with the G29. Now let's talk about the range of motion between these two steering wheels. Now on the G29 can do up to 900 degrees versus we have 1080 degrees a range of motion on the T300 RS so you have a little bit more of a steering lock it uh, rotates a little bit further than what the g29 does in realistic terms you're probably not going to be rotating your steering wheel that much but if you are playing some kind of truck simulator or things like that looks like you might have a little bit more capabilities on the thrustmaster now of course both these steering wheels come with excellent force feedback system we have a dual force feedback motor system on the g29 which is very similar to the uh, force feedback that we encountered on the g27 for a number of years and the t300 rs is also using uh, basically belt driven force feedback it's uh, using a brushless motor which is going to deliver some fairly smooth and seamless force feedback information and it's ultra responsive and uh, fairly realistic as well both have hall effect sensors so they're pretty good in terms of positional reliability and tracking over a long period of time now in terms of acoustics uh, one thing you'll notice is that the g29 is a little bit quieter in terms of its operational sounds compared uh, to the T300 RS. Now the T300 RS isn't loud but there's always a little bit of a faint humming especially when the force feedback system kicks in. Now you do get that occasional clunky sound on the G29 which is definitely kind of annoying but uh, I'll give you a little sample of how each of them kind of sound once they uh, get booted up and you can see how loud the motors are individually. Now, in terms of my personal experience on using these two steering wheels, I basically used uh, project cars and uh, just went side by side between them to see if I could really feel any kind of difference. And basically, they do deliver a different uh, mapping in terms of their force feedback system. So they do feel different in terms of road feel, understeering, oversteering, and they present that information in different ways. I don't know which one is uh, better and more accurate, but it feels to me that uh, the Thrustmaster is more in lines of what I would feel of 
a more realistic interpretation, but the G29 isn't too bad. I actually think that the motors on the G29 are a little bit more powerful, so that might be good for some of you guys out there that want a more aggressive force feedback system, but I think they're pretty adequate on the Thrustmaster as well. Now, when it comes to positional accuracy, I think they're both fairly on par with each other. Very little dead zone uh, between them. It just depends upon how you have the driver set up and how you have your in-game settings, but generally speaking, they're pretty much on par when it comes to accuracy of reading out the steering position information. Now, certainly one thing that I do like about the Logitech opposed to the Thrustmaster is that the pedals are a lot better. You actually have a clutch that's weighted very nicely. You have a brake that actually has a rubber dampener, so it's quiet in terms of its operation, and the accelerator feels pretty realistic as well. Plus, the whole board has a lot more heft towards it, so it won't move around as much as the pedal board that we find on the T300 RS, which only comes with a brake and accelerator. They're weighted not as nicely as what we find on the G29, and certainly it doesn't have any rubber dampening, so it's going to be a little bit louder, and plus it's going to move quite a bit. To actually get a proper uh, pedal board that has a, a clutch pedal, you're going to have to fork over probably another $100 on the Thrustmaster side versus you get a pretty good pedal board to begin with. On the Logitech G29, uh, there are some cool aspects about uh, the Thrustmaster pedals. You can adjust the height and spacing of them. There's six different positionings for that. But besides some of those minor features, uh, Logitech definitely has Thrustmaster beat when it comes to the stock pedals over here. Now, one thing to mention is that both steering wheels do not come with a six-speed manual shifter. They both are unfortunately extra options. It's a little bit more expensive on the Thrustmaster side to get that manual shifter, but it's also designed for enthusiasts of racing simulators versus the Logitech shifter is a little bit more plasticky and not as well built as the Thrustmaster shifter. So uh, definitely take that into consideration. But really when it comes down to picking which steering wheel is right for you. You definitely have to weigh out your options and needs and figure out uh, which steering wheel is going to best suit those. So if you want something a little bit more realistic with a little bit more heft and build quality, I really do like the, the T300 RS in those regards, but uh, the pedal board and the overall all-in-one package is really nice on the G29 and it's certainly going to be a little bit more of a competitive price point once you start adding the shifter and everything like that because if you're serious into any kind of racing simulators, you're definitely going to have to get that clutch. Uh, pedal board with uh, the T300 RS because the one that comes with it just is not up to par. Certainly, I think if you're more of an enthusiast, people really tend to gravitate towards the Thrustmaster because uh, you can remove the rim and replace it with uh, like a Formula One style configuration or something that's more oriented to rally sport or whatever you like. It's a little bit more of a modular design and it can grow further and further versus people do like the all-in-one kind of simple solution that you get with Logitech products and the G29 is overall definitely an excellent steering wheel by most of its regards and certainly the more quieter in terms of its operation as well. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, which steering wheel you guys think has the most to offer. And if you want uh, more information about everything we talked about, definitely check out the description down below. You'll find the product links to the Thrustmaster as well as the Logitech. And if you go through any of our Amazon links, get anything, whether that might be that product itself or something else, just gives us a little bit a kickback doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps us greatly in making content like this possible thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later take care